God, I love this show and its characters. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. Hello and welcome to Will the Scry. I am Kirk D. Cam and we are jumping into One Piece episode 968. Not gonna spend any time with this intro. Let's jump in. Sounds like we're gonna see the Pirate King and him <laughs> reaching Raftel at the very end, which I'm kind of surprised about. I always thought they would kind of lead Luffy to, we, we you know, and cover it through him and his crew. But I guess we're going to see how Roger did it first, and then now we'll see it kind of backwards and how Luffy's going to catch up to that. Also, we know that this isn't actually the official last island. It's pointing somewhere else, and it has something to do with the Void Century. So I'll leave it at that. I am Kirky Cam. This is Will Descry. Let's jump into episode 968. All right, here we go. Oral Jackson. This is one of the best parts of the last episode. Has that will with the Sea Kings, just like Luffy. So they're heading back to the land of Wano. Love the art style of the waves, it's unreal. This is clearly where Toki gets dropped off. You know what, like whenever I'm seeing like random scenes, it makes me like deep dive in my mind, even though I should be paying attention to what's in front of me. I was just thinking, like, after seeing so much with Odin, like, how the heck does someone assassinate him and his wife and, you know, try to do his children? And I just realized that going back to the, the emu stuff with the Void Century and and uh, the Reverie, and they, like, the, 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 the Goseku, the dudes all, like, bowed their head to her and asked who we should eradicate next. The original had to have been Odin. Right? Like, that's who they last assassinated because he can read the, the Poneglyphs. Also, side note, I wonder if... If Shirohoshi, and then I theorized last episode that Vivi are both um, weapons. I wonder if that makes Hiori, Momonosuke's sister, also a one of the three great weapons. Hmm, you know, like a whole Kingdom Hearts princess thing. Damn, she read red. Naturally. Naturally. to stop a man in his dream. <laughs> she likes him. I didn't even show them go for the Poneglyphs. Jesus. No oh bueno. So this is how it happens. I can hear it. Is the previous air? <laughs> Mm. 
Ooh, this is giving me like chills, like eerie vibes. That's the Odin clan symbol. Oh, Pedro. It's interesting because if he had met him probably like three years earlier, he probably would have took him with him. But he knows he's at the end of his line. Uh oh. He's looking like Whitebeard was when you first saw him on the ship with those things plugged up to his nose. Jeez. Strong guy. <laughs> oh, buggy. When they all left and knew they become great pirates. Look at that. Wow. God, I love Shanks. That is so cool. That he didn't actually make it to the island. I just realized that Crocus probably taught the Rumbar Pirates this song. Because you know how he's looking after Laboon? They made it. Alright, see? This is what I was saying at the beginning of the episode. They weren't going to show us. The King of the Pirates! <clears throat> oh, Whitebeard. Aww, he's happy for him. Knowing he's going to die. Wow. God, I love this show and its characters. Dun, dun, dun. Mm. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Look how old he looks all of a sudden. Oh my god. Crocus. <laughs> Joy boy. Wow. 
Oh, it's not Raftel's laugh tale. What? <laughs> Yo. I got to rewatch that like seven times. That was awesome. Now we got to wait like, what, four or five hundred episodes to actually uncover all this stuff? But like, that was such a good way to end this little like Odin Roger explanation. Oh, the music was perfect. The storytelling without spoiling too much was perfect. Not spoiling because it's canon, but you know what I mean. Like, writing too much detail for us to be able to figure it out. Man, I'm ready. Oh, I love this show so much. All right, well, thank you for tuning in. I am Kirksey Cam, and I will catch you next time on Will of the Scry. Peace.